Let's talk about self-care for coaches. I'm Nancy Levin. Welcome back to my channel. I help coaches, aspiring coaches, and anyone who wants to add coaching skills to enhance their current career, elevate their life and their practice. All right, self-care for the coach is essential. And I'm going to share three ways that you can make sure you are taking good care of yourself as a coach so you can show up for your clients at your best. First is to make sure you are bookending your session with a client with time for you. It doesn't have to be a lot of time, but on either end of the session, make sure that you've got time to clear out whatever you might be carrying so that you don't bring it into a session and give yourself time to let go and release whatever went on during the session. You might notice that entering into a session, you are preoccupied, you are tired, you are carrying an agenda for your client. Give yourself time to get grounded, to let go of what is yours so you can be open to what is theirs. On the other end, you might notice that you were triggered. You might notice that something activated you, that something arose for you. Give yourself time to let go of that as well and to process. This can look like journaling or taking a walk or lighting a candle and just closing your eyes and breathing. Whatever will center you and get you in the space to be open for your client as you go into the session and to release what isn't yours once the session is over. The second way is to really show up to your sessions resourced. So self-care to be resourced looks like making sure you're getting enough rest, making sure you are eating, making sure you are going to the bathroom. These sound silly, but you don't want to go into a coaching session bonking because you haven't eaten enough or realizing when you sit down because you're in a rush to go down to the coaching session that you have to pee. Take care of your own needs first so you can show up fully resourced for your clients. And the third self-care tip for coaches is remember to set and hold your boundaries, both personal and professional. The more willing you are to uphold your own boundaries, the less likely you will get resentful or irritable with your clients. So be careful that you are not overgiving, that you are not in your sessions wanting to be liked, that you are not saying yes to certain times of day for coaching that don't work for you or certain days of the week that don't work for you. Hold your boundaries around your cancellation policy. Remember, as coaches, it does the client no good for us to show up willing to work harder for the client's vision than they are willing to themselves. Coaching is about guiding your client to their inner answers so they can take action toward the vision they're holding for themselves. By practicing self-care as a coach, we show up sharp, we show up ready, we show up clean, we show up able to ask the appropriate, powerful and clarifying question in the moment that propels our clients forward. 
If you want more tips for coaches, I encourage you to sign up for my free bi-weekly newsletter, The Practice. And you can do so at the link. And please be sure that you have subscribed to my channel and that you click the notification bell so you're alerted when I post my next video.